narcissistic individuals tend to know exactly what buttons to push to wind you up, to frustrate you, to irritate you, to annoy you, to gain that reaction from you so that they can play the victim in the circumstances that they created while you're often left bewildered and confused and wondering what on earth is going on. And the reason they tend to know that these things are going to frustrate you is because it frustrates them. When it comes to narcissistic individual and individuals, unless everything is going their way, there's going to be hell to pay. They're going to seek to punish you. They're going to seek to wind you up. It makes them feel better about how bad they're feeling in that given moment. There's lots of different frustrating behaviours of a narcissistic individual. Any that you experience, please do add those into the comments. This video is just going to be about a few of them. And one of the first of these is not answering a simple question. Now, narcissistic people believe that they're superior, so they expect you to answer to them. However, they also believe they're entitled to do as they please and don't believe they should have to answer to you. You can just simply try to make plans uh, the weekend. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I will see nearer the time. And as people can have busy schedules, busy lives, we, we might not always know, we might not always have the answer. We might be asked at the wrong time. So then we think we've asked them at the wrong time. And if we just approach them on a different day in a different way, all will be okay. Only it never works out that way. Call them out on something. Ask them about something they said they'd do and they didn't do. And they will go all out to gaslight you and wind you up and claim that they never said that. And you get into a battle of wills where they're just looking to pay you back to punish you so that they can feel better about the scenario. Another frustrating behaviour of a narcissistic individual is just mocking you with noises. You can just be sat in a car driving, if you're with a narcissistic individual that likes to be driven, <laughs> some prefer to do all the driving. However, if you're driving, they can just tut or mark at certain things. Or you can be driving and... Or they can be driving and you can just drive past somebody that's dressed differently. And they can just tut or mock. They seem to believe that they need to teach the world a lesson. They need to teach the world how to conform to their demands, basically. Everything's their right of way you can get into a heated debate with a narcissistic individual and they will then have the last word for silence on you and then they'll just walk around humming away to themselves usually because they believe they've had that last dig that's hurt you or that their silence is going to punish you so they feel smug so they walk around humming and sing singing away to themselves or banging doors just being excessively loud, waiting for you to ask them to quieten down so they can come at you and attack you all over again. They'd rather impress strangers than care for their own family. Strangers are a blank canvas. While a narcissistic individual is selling people an illusion, we can all put our best face forward. Narcissistic individuals make up who they are depending on who they are around to gain that admiration. So they will happily impress strangers because the stranger is a blank canvas who doesn't know who the narcissist really is and can often, because the narcissist is paying them excessive interest, giving them lots of attention, they can often feel special around the narcissistic individual, which validates the narcissist's belief that they are special. So they're getting the attention from that stranger. Unless you were born into a narcissistic family, narcissistic mother or father, we were all once that stranger to, a nar to our narcissistic friend or our narcissistic partner. They know how to hook you and suck you into their games. And then once they've got you where they want you, they reveal who they are and they devalue you 
and then you no longer feel like giving them that attention and then they go and get it from elsewhere and then they accuse you of the one who wasn't paying them enough attention or playing the victim to these strangers that they're impressing that you're the one that doesn't appreciate them. You're the one that wasn't there for them. You don't care about them. They leave out the part they played in the scenario. And then eventually they devalue and discard the stranger and start impressing a new stranger. They interrupt you. Whenever you have something important to say, they interrupt you. Whenever you just want to make communication, conversation about something, they interrupt you. If they're not interested, they're not interested. And it's confusing because when they're impressing who you when they're impressing who you are when they're trying to impress you based on who you are as a person they're giving you that excessive attention they're willing to listen to you so that they can extract the information they need from you to exploit you so then when they start interrupting you you kind of think hmm Maybe that's something they used to be interested. So maybe that is, maybe I need to quieten down. And they train you to walk on eggshells around them. They will walk ahead, metaphorically and physically. Narcissistic individuals believe that they are superior. They always want to be one step ahead of you. They will play a game with one hand and just as you cotton on to that one, you don't recognise the other game. They're playing behind their back. They always have to be one step ahead of you. And some narcissistic people will literally walk ahead of you. There's plenty of reasons why people walk ahead and without at least a nine of the without at least five of the nine criteria and the other behaviours, it doesn't necessarily mean someone's narcissistic. They can walk behind you. Perhaps they just don't want to be seen with you. Perhaps they know that there's someone that doesn't know that you exist, or they could just want to frustrate you. They love creating any form of conflict and then accusing you of being the one who's creating the argument. They rewrite history to escape accountability. They constantly gaslight your reality, which is incredibly draining and confusing and frustrating. Not only do they just gaslight your reality, they set it so that your feelings match what they're telling you. They provoke that insecurity within you and then accuse you of being insecure. So you question your insecurities and not their behaviour. They go all out to play the victim in the circumstances that they created. So whenever you try to call them out, they turn into the victim. And you can think, hang on a minute here, what's, what's going on? But they tend to believe the narrative that they're going out with. And you can stand there sometimes and think it's unbelievable as things start to click in your head of what is actually happening. They exaggerate to try and impress just like those strangers. They exaggerate and lie. They don't put their best face forward. They make a face up based on who that person would like them to be. They tend to be a know-it-all. They already know everything. You can't tell them anything. They always have to be right, meaning that you are always going to be in the wrong. Narcissistic individuals are some of the most frustrating people you could ever deal with. And the best way to deal with them is don't. The best way to deal with them is learn their behaviours so that you can learn to recognise the game and no longer get frustrated by them. Recognise that that's who they are as a person they're trying to provoke me. They're trying to get that reaction out of me. They're trying to get that rise out of me. They want the validation. They want the attention. <laughs> They're not having it. I'm not playing those games anymore. And focus on you and your life and the things that you would like to do and the things that make you happy. And we can all get to a point where we'd like to seek revenge on a narcissistic individual. And this is the best revenge because you're not doing anything calculated or manipulative to try and hurt them. You're just no longer going along with their games and focusing on you yet because it's taken your attention away from them. They're offended. You do have to be careful because some might escalate their games. And unfortunately, the majority of them will try to move on to a new source of supply. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments with people reading through.
Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries, and a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse. And the links for those will be in the description also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an, an amazing day. Bye.